Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is 803 Garage and this is gonna be the the office over there. Those are the computers I have to figure out what the heck they are. I got another one out in the shed. It's been there for at least two years. It's an old build. Um, but right now we're gonna be putting those two speakers, which are two Logitech speakers that are going to either side of the uh, the coffee table and they'll fit nice and neatly in that right there, this old thing. I've had this around since, well, since I was born. There's an old picture of me where I was butt-ass naked as a little kid. I'm not going to show it, but uh, I was cute as can be laying on top of that thing. Don't ask me. I was a weird kid. Anyways, those two subs are going to go inside of this, and then I'm going to use this coffee table here as like a statement, or not a statement, as a, a shelf for all the fancy electronics and gaming systems and shibby doo and whatever else the heck it is. So that, I'm going to take all apart, slap those in there, put it all together, and then I'm going to go over the sound system one more time just to kind of showcase it a little bit before I start getting to work on the next video after this one which will be building the uh, fuse panel closet So what I have effectively done here is put two subwoofers, which have the amps built in each of them, operating under one control pod. I have it all wired up through the walls. So there's two centers, there's two rights, there's two lefts, and if I spin all the way around, there's two rears, right and left. Then you come back down, and that is it. Now, this system can also run without a pod, and that is when you have the adapter for your uh, computer. So the computer effectively becomes a pod, so the volume controls are no longer redundant, which is what I've always felt. Now, I bought this stuff a long, long time ago. Um, not really much to say other than that. It's all it's optical. You've got your line in, so you can put a Bluetooth adapter to it, which I probably have somewhere here, which is over here, my trusty first gen of a Bluetooth adapter. I just plug that into any kind of system, even car systems, and I have uh, Bluetooth uh, streaming through their old stereo. Um, this thing has also a headphone jack if you want to put headphones in, wired of course. On the back you have your uh, compass and inputs, your coaxial, and then your optical. And that's it. It's uh, got a pretty easy remote to understand. Nothing too special about that. Um, I've always had an obsession with these systems. Now I have the same setup in my room. The subwoofers are built into my bed, and that's what I have powered through, this, for the, through the TV entertainment system. There'll be something more on that, because I'm going to replace the TV with one that's going to be built into the bed. So pretend that's the bed, you press the button, and uh, TV comes up. Um, that's for a later video in life, but uh, for now, this is an antique to me when I grew up. It was always fun to have the game, back. and these are some of the old games that we had so some old tape what's this you can uh, teach yourself uh, auto harp oh i'm not sure what that is for uh that's a trick with some nails i'll show that in a later video uh, i've got some chinese uh balls here these are the uh just to get better uh dexterity apparently i need to do some work on that um got card games this stuff's all jumbled around. Remember when we were kids, we had uh, this little doohickey. We're always like, you just this is what we used to. This is what, this is what a controller was for us back in the day. It doesn't work now though. Damn it. There you go. There's this like, how fast can you spin it? And then it would fly off this thing. Yeah, I haven't done it in a while, so. Um, yeah, Uno. Mastermind, Chinese checkers, you get them with that. Yep, old school Chinese checkers. This is all stuff when I was a kid. Used to love this. Game night was a big night when, uh, when I was just a knee-high to a grasshopper. 
so this kind of thing brings it back some memories. There we go. I'll put the auto heart plate back in. I don't know what it is. There you go. So yeah, I had to take off the feet for this install, which I'll probably put these somewhere out of the way, and then I'll probably end up cleaning up one day, not knowing what these things are, and throw them out. Not really a big deal. So the permanent home for these bad boys is here. Um, obviously, I'm gonna put my PlayStation and stuff on top for the game system, entertainment system, all that nonsense. And uh, that is that. The other part of this, so you guys can see it, I'm gonna flip back around, is the uh, the wiring, which is basically two serial cables formed in together to be one. Um, those are not serial cables, they were wired up in a very specific way. I read the disclaimer that you can't just build this yourself. Uh, so how this works, and this is the creme de la creme for this video, which I almost forgot. By the way, I have a, this would be a hole here for that little guy up there to run all the cables through. And I forgot to do that. So that guy's right there. I'll figure that out where that is later. Obviously, it'll be on the same line. And uh, yeah. So in this, to be able to do this, this is your connection. So this connection tees off right here and each one of these goes over to the back of the subwoofers so they're controlled in parallel just want to make sure those connections are tight that one's a little loose there and that's it so i marked all the uh, the wires so the ones that's uh, a flag so that means that when I wire this up, this one will be, because I've typed them in, or put them in as flags and non-flags, so that means I have two, two um, speakers miswired. And these are the center speakers, which don't really matter, so they can go each way. So you get your flags and non-flags, so that just means those speakers there were switched this way, it doesn't matter. I want to build a box for these guys, make it all nice and nice. And that's it, your whole Logitech system, you can put two into one. So if you ever find a system online, you can do one of two things. You can get the adapter, like I was saying, just for your computer, which is this guy right here. Not sure what that is. It's sticky, so something is a bit oily. It's probably grease. So you get this adapter here, and then this plugs into the back of your subwoofer. This plugs into your computer. And like I was saying, it effectively becomes your volume control. Or you can just control it all at once through the analog um, equivalent. And that's just basically if you want to wire it all together. So you can have all your speakers playing in stereo if you wanted to wire all this stuff together. But that's a different thing altogether. Um, I keep saying that word. It's awesome. So yeah, if you want to build your own home theater system and put 2,000 watt or 500 watt RMS subwoofers, systems, sound systems together, and make it all into one big happy family. I'm just gonna sit down, not crush the painting behind me. You could do this. And as I continue this build, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them all down below. I don't believe you can actually get these adapters anymore. I did look on Amazon, I couldn't find them. Um, but I can link that ad still, if it's still up, and I'll just drop that down in the description down below in case anybody wants to try to search for these things online and or try to create this for yourself if you have these systems. These are very old systems, nobody cares. But you all take care. Thanks for watching me at this far and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. So as I said, I just looked online and I found them. I bought them two years ago plus, but you can still buy them today. So if you have these systems, want to pair them together and have them work in, well, parallel, you can do it.